Hello everyone. So, I want to talk to you today about why I believe Shadow of the Eternals could be an amazing, phenomenal game if it gets created. And, my suggestion, uh, well, one of my suggestions I should say, I've got quite a few, um, for the game. So, let's start. Reason one, Shadow of the Eternals is in the same vein as Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. In fact, Shadow of the Eternals is a possible spiritual successor to Eternal Darkness, which that, of course, would make this game automatically amazing because, in my opinion, Eternal Darkness was one of the most wicked games ever created. I don't know of very many games that I have enjoyed as much as that one. In fact, I still play the darn thing. So, reason two. Precursor Games, the uh, game company that wishes to create Shadow of the Eternals, is not going about the creation of the game in a traditional way way. Um, they are not going out uh, to get money in the traditional way, in which could bind their hands and, you know, stifle their creativity. Um, instead, they are asking uh, people like you and myself uh, to donate um, at a later time um, so that, you know, they can get the money through crowdfunding. Um, which would allow them to, you know, be a little more free in what they do. Because, I mean, let's face it. Right now, um, with how hard it is for game companies to make a profit, um, game companies are not taking risk. You know? Um... And so we get a lot of clones of good games and genres get beat to death <laughs> by the cloning, um, which, you know, makes, you know, things not so good for the consumers. Um, also, Precursor Games is not just saying, okay, we want your money so that we are not restrained and stuff like that. They are also saying, you know what? We want um, you to talk with us. And we want to be able to talk to you. We want to be able to have a dialogue. You know, we want you at our forums and stuff um, so that, you know, there is feedback coming from both sides uh, so that there's sort of like a uh, tennis match going on. Bang, 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 you know, sort of like that. <clears throat> um, and I've been a part of their um, forums since the beginning, really. Um, and I can attest in that their forums is really interesting. Um, it is like a symphony of creativity there. Um People are just talking about all sorts of things for Shadow of the Eternals. People are talking about uh, Elder God creation. Um, they are talking about gameplay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Stuff. They are talking about sanity effects. Uh, you know, sanity effects... Um, are where the game screws with your head. You know, it tries to really get in deep there and just screw with you as much as possible. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, where was I? Ah, yes. Um, and, you know, people are also talking about um, stuff like voice actors, who they would like to see, 
you know, doing uh, the voices for the game. Uh, people are talking about the settings, um, where they'd like to see the game take place. Because like Eternal Darkness, uh, Shadow of the Eternals is not going to be set just in one time period or one location. It's going to be kind of all over the place. Uh, you know, one place that's been confirmed is Louisiana. Um, another place is in the Middle East. Uh, around the area the Persians had control of. Um, um, South America has been confirmed, I believe it was. Um, and, you know, uh, this type of, you know, dealing with people is not common in the game industry. The game industry, you know, basically takes earplugs, shoves them in their ears, and says, okay, you can play around on the forums, but we're not paying attention unless you're making death threats or something. And, you know, they just do their own thing. But that doesn't really work to improve games. It works if you, you know, want to be disconnected, which is not what Precursor is doing. Um, and that makes all of this really, really just uh, amazing to me, at least. Um, now, I promised you uh, one of my suggestions. Now, uh, one of the suggestions that I have given, uh, and you can read about it further if you join uh, the forums and become a member of the... Uh, <coughs> um, the Order of the Unseen... Um, my create, uh, my suggestion is something called the Skrela. It is an enemy, uh, designed to help other enemies. Uh, uh, this game is a horror type game, but unlike a lot of horror type games, this one has magic. And the Skrela is made to interfere with your use of magic. If you go around recklessly using magic around a Skrela, uh, well, the enemies that you kill could get resurrected. The enemies uh, that are at full health could end up enraging. If you're not careful, the Skrela will go, well, and try to uh, get behind you and uh, kill you. Because it's not a very strong type of enemy you'd be facing. Uh, but it would definitely try to get behind you and you know, choke you, um, which, you know, if you're getting choked from behind, it's not an easy position to free yourself from, even when the opponent is pretty weak. And the Skrela is this really, um, horrible looking creature. Um, its arms and legs are out of proportion a bit. Uh, its arms, I believe it was the arms, um, are longer and its legs are a bit shorter. Uh, and at every joint, it's got little spines and it's dried out like it's been in mummification salts. Um, and every time it absorbs magic, it gets a little more moist. Oh, yeah, and it's also resistant to magic <laughs> and projectiles, <laughs> um, but weak against melee attacks. If you manage to strike it with melee or projectiles, it will crack unless it gets saturated with magic to a certain point because the more magic it absorbs, the more moist it gets, allowing it to move faster because, you know, fast enemies are scarier enemies generally. Um, let's see, what else was there? Missing one thing, I think. What was it? Oh, yeah. If it gets completely saturated with magic, it goes from looking like a mummified corpse with its eyes and mouth sewn shut to looking like a decaying body that was thrown in a bog. Just to kind of just add to the ick factor of it all. I hope y'all enjoyed. 